So without further ado, let's watch the cinematic. Here we go. Oh, baby. The world has been sundered. It cries out in pain. Wormrest Temple looks so fucking good. We entrust our ancestral home to you. Is that what that is? So that was not Worm Rest Temple. It looked like it. Another forge? Another Uldir, Ulduar, Uldu, Uldu, Uldu place? Oh no. Random king guy. Oh my god! Holy shit, she looks so good! What? The world is healing. Oh my god. But her fate is yet uncertain. Yo, come on. Together, 
We shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin. Fuck! That looks dope. That logo looks dope. That looks dope. Dragons! Dragons. This is so cool. <laughs> no one saw it coming. <laughs> no one saw it coming. <laughs> no one, no one saw it. But seriously, I mean, what did we just see there? The awakening of the Dragon Isles, the return of dragons, the dawn of a new age. Right, we've seen Rathian searching for his father's legacy, searching for the Dragon Isles. There's a reason why he hasn't been able to find them until now. The beacon going off, is that summoning the dragons? It is removing the concealment that had hidden the Dragon Isles from the world, but also beckoning the dragons back urgently in a time of need. I assume pretty good variety of locales within the Dragon Isles? It's yes. The Dragon Isles, as kind of standard for WoW Whoa. expansion, consist of five zones, yes. four standard leveling zones, and a new starter zone. Is that zone we'll get to in a second. Can you talk a little bit about how the team found ways to thread the Dragon Isles? Oh, I saw Kalowak the there. Environments? The, the Dragon Isles are a place that is lush and primal, bursting with elemental energy. As Azeroth herself reawakens, those primal forces are expressed throughout the environment, whether it's as Azeroth activity, volcanic activity, reawakens. there's the icy wastes of the Azure Span, and each one of those has a connection to a Dragonflight that we've seen before. And it's going to be an amazing place for players to arrive at and explore. All right, you know I'm going to ask. <laughs> yes, okay, so. Can, can, can I be a dragon? Let, yeah, let, let, let's start getting into some features here and what Dragonflight means for you as well as just a place. Um, so first off, yes, we have an all new playable race, the Drakthir race. Yeah. Uh, this is a <laughs> what? Kind of draconic race. But what? Dragons in, in Warcraft have the ability to take on a humanoid form. What classes can they be? They have unique abilities as literally a dragon that doesn't quite fit any of our existing classes and so what we're doing is this is not just a new race but it's also a new class you know adding a new race to world of warcraft and not just an allied race is something that we don't do lightly but telling this expansion this story so focused around dragons felt like the perfect time for it so if you are a drakthir you will be the evoker class drakthir can only be evoker, wow evoker some of these leaks were and the reason why only a drakthir could be an evoker is that an evoker is really combining the ability to call upon the magic of the different aspects Avatar. with the unique physical gifts that a Drakthir has, the ability to actually take flight and do an Anixia style strafing deep Jesus breath over Christ. the battlefield, land on the other side, knock everyone back with a wing buffet, and then unleash your magical abilities. Yes, please. <laughs> the evoker has two specializations. They're a hybrid of either ranged DPS or healer, and they wear male armor, we figured, you know, with the new hero classes, classes we've added over the years, we have enough melee. We don't need yeah. any of those. And also probably don't need any more, any more leather wearers. The raid leaders are going to love you for that. <laughs> exactly. This is definitely a hero class. And so that means that, you know, like the Death Knights before them or Demon Hunters, they will be starting level 58. And then they're going to have a new starter zone. So they're going to have a slightly different journey into the Dragon Isles as opposed to the rest of us that I'm, are sailing there. From I'm actually the shocked. I can't Can believe they... a little they... bit about the customizations? Like what is going to be able to identify my drag theater character. Basically anything and everything. You know, skin color, hair color, jewelry, <gasps> tattoos, Holy other shit balls. You can make this character the expression of, of your identity in Azeroth. New zone, new oh class, my God, dude. Yep, new race. Well, tell us about some of the, the system updates yeah, or features. So of course, the new expansion brings with it, you know, new systems, new features. I think in recent expansions, one Jesus of the things Christ. we to do is really have these deep features that were closely tied to a specific expansion that would then get left behind as we moved on. Mm -hmm. And we've heard loud and clear from players that, you know, it's kind of a bummer to start off every new expansion by leaving a large part of your character behind, by leaving a large part of your progression behind. So this time around, what we're doing is really pouring all of our energy into permanent revamps, overhauls, and improvements to World of Warcraft's core systems. Things like our progression systems, in this case, our talent system, is something that we want to completely revamp. We want to take a look at our UI. We want to take a look at professions. So with the talent revamp and the arrival of Classic, did you learn anything about how our talents work? I think seeing a new generation of players play 
with those talents and work through those talent trees really underscored some of the things that, frankly, we lost mm -hmm. when we shifted to the Mr. Pandaria style talents and beyond. A big piece of that was some of just the granularity, the feeling of getting a level and spending a point to customize your character to make yourself a bit better in some specific way. But also, you know, the, that sense of hybridity that you could have. That's something that we've largely lost. And so the new talent system avoids Whoa. directly pitting player power throughput Whoa. choices directly against those sort of utility hybrid choices because we know that there's always a right outcome there. And we also understand that you know there's a lot of strength in the flexibility of the modern talent system to let players customize their talents for a particular encounter or for dungeons versus PvP, and we don't want to lose any of that. So John, Whoa. UI? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got this 30 inch monitor trying to keep track of where I am on the map, all my buffs, and oh, over here, what's going on in chat. It has literally made my eyes go like this. <laughs> so, yep. And you're not alone in that. We've made a lot of incremental changes and additions over the years, but really, this is a revamp, this is an overhaul. And so, we're excited to really modernize the look and feel while staying true to the origins of World of Warcraft. Now, at the same time, we're not looking to take away the sort of power user customization there. Add ons are still there if you want them but we want a much better default out of the box experience for all players, new and old alike. And can I reduce elements, remove elements? If I want to explore the world Ooh. and see the beauty of Azeroth. Ooh. When it comes to specific elements as much as possible, we want to let players choose what to show and what to hide so that they can control it themselves. You mentioned professions. I have a critical question about this. Go on. Can I wear a chef's hat? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Our approach to professions in Dragonflight is really all about delivering on fantasy and identity as a crafter. And so if you want to be a serious blacksmith, if you want to be a great leather worker, we want to deliver the ability to invest time and energy into that, become a master crafter, be able to make items that are in demand, interact with the community. One of the big pieces that we want to do to support that is a new work order system to have a bit more convenience than just spamming trade chat all day. But if you are someone, you're not yourself a blacksmith, but you have a bunch of mats and you want them forged into a great sword, you can put that work order up, list your mats, offer a commission, and a oh, single that's blacksmith cool. can come along and make you the weapon of your dreams. That's dope. I think we left out one thing, though. You can be a drag theater, go to Dragon Isles, can I have a dragon? Oh. What's the fantasy of dragons, if not soaring over the lands? And so we're really excited to introduce a feature that we're calling dragon riding. It's dynamic with you know everything from momentum to dive bombs, the ability to you know just sort of build that speed up and feel the world rushing past you what? in a way that should be much more exciting than traditional flight that we've made available in the past, but that's also available for players through a customizable dragon mount right from the start. So this is a skill you learn over time, right? To become an awesome dragon rider? Yes, you'll be able to sort of upgrade aspects of your flight, but you will have this new form of flight from the start. And the dragon companion that you have is of course very thoroughly customizable. Oh my so god, you, so you can do for us for mounts. Don't make this me do don't make me have a proto drake. A no. generic dragon that everyone has but a drake that oh, is Oh, that is yours. so cool! You know, what, what do you want its scales to look like, horns, the shape of its head, other attachments, armor pieces, and more. Take your pick. This is so cool. <laughs> so yeah, so the Dragonflight expansion is going to see players leveling to 70, going to the all-new continent of the Dragon Isles, which consists of five zones, four standard leveling zones, and a new starter zone for our Drakthir class, as well as a range Dude. of systems revamps, such as a new talent system, an overhaul and update to our UI, and an entirely fresh look at professions with more depth than ever before. Also getting around the Dragon Isles is gonna come in the form of Dragon Riding, which lets you customize and upgrade your Dude, own Dude, that's gonna be so, so cool. in a sense from the start. And of course, as with any new expansion, we have a new set of dungeons, a raid, and much more to come. We also have an alpha that will be starting up in, in, in the future. Check out our website for more information and keep an eye out for those opt-in signups if you want to help us test out Dragonflight and give us even more feedback to make it better. We do have a deep dive that follows this, so please stay around.